Ela chegou a pedir, a pedir apoio, a pedir a chegar a pedir e a milito governo, de milito governo, a milito aqui que a gente não se engorda. So, um, yeah, once we recognize uh, this uh, fortunate situation that we have, uh, and we, uh, we appreciate the fact that we are humans, and we wish to um, um, have a human rebirth in our future, then we have to um, um, uh, engage in, in, in bringing about the, uh, or, or, or engage in the causes that would bring about a human rebirth, and they would be um, engaging in, in um, ethical activity. Uh, and if we, uh, if our aim is towards uh, having um, possessions, having uh, um, um, uh, things, or uh, then uh, we should uh, in, uh, engage in the practice of generosity, which we, would be the cause for bringing that around. <laughs> As Miller Repa said, if one wishes for uh, 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 the things or the, 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 uh, the things that we need in life, um, in our future life, then we should engage in generosity. <laughs> So, um, so it's not necessary uh, now in, in, uh, to engage in um, ethics um, or ethical behavior. It is not necessary to become a monk or a nun to become a renunciate. Uh, we can we can take um, vows uh, even for a single day and vow to um, uh, abandon or give up uh, some non-virtuous action for um, uh, a time period such as one day. So, for example, uh, taking the non-virtuous action of killing, um, if we uh, <coughs> make a pledge to ourselves or a vow to ourselves not to engage in killing for a particular amount of time or, for, or whatever, uh, that, that attitude or that, that pledge that we make of I shall not kill is an act of um, um, uh, ethics. So, um, if we, um, um, if we're not able to maintain the vow of not killing for forever, for our lifetime, um, and if we um, let, let we're, in, we're this is really speaking to someone who whose life depends on killing. Um, if if one's livelihood is uh, depend or one's life depends on killing, um, to simply take a vow to refrain from killing for one day uh, would already be an act of um, um, uh, ethics. <laughs> So um, within our sort of um, day, uh, we can uh, engage in um, something like the Mahayana precepts of the Mahayana vow for one day. Um, this is a, a like a ceremony <coughs> we can, um, uh, engage in. Uh, where we take certain vows to restrain from certain things for one day. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> so there, there are other um, uh, uh, one-day vows that can be taken that are that are similar to um, uh, uh, the Mahayana precepts, where we commit to refraining from certain um, non-virtues for a specified period of time, such as one day. <laughs> Um, now, to, uh, it, it's important that we engage in these practices with a certain mindfulness. We determine that we will refrain from uh, non-virtues. Um, if we don't uh, actually make a commitment to refrain, then it, um, this uh, uh, not engage. Then there is no um, nothing will come of it. No um, specific virtue will come will arise out of it. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, similarly, uh, in engaging in um, generosity, um, the when we engage in generosity, uh, we there are different objects that we can give to. For example, we can give to the uh, three jewels, or we can give to sentient beings. Now, when we make offerings to the three jewels, to, to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, it's not necessary that we do so um, in some uh, expensive or elaborate way. Uh, we can simply offer water, we can offer flowers, we can offer incense. Now, we, we have, so uh, we're discussing this um, um, let's say ritual that we that we engage in we have a sort of um, uh, let's say custom of um, making water offerings um, uh, and this is um, a, 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 this is extremely beneficial <laughs> So when the Buddha was teaching about the methods for generating uh, virtue um, and merit, um, uh, he, um, to, uh, he taught uh, that by, um, that he taught off, of making water offerings. And the reason is that water is uh, not expensive and uh, we have no um, attachment to it. Um, and so we can uh, engage in this act of generosity Easily. <laughs> So um, there's a, a story of, uh, to to illustrate the importance of 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 um, making water offerings. Um, there's a story of of Atisha when he came to Tibet, um, uh, and he was uh, this was towards the um, latter part of his life. He was quite old, and uh, he shook and he was making water offerings and his students said um, to their master Atisha, um, uh, you are old, let us make the water offerings for you. And as a sign of how important it is to do, to make one's own water offerings, he said, are you going to eat for me too? <laughs>